Welcome back to Chuck Builds. This is a follow-up to my Stream Master video. Uh, my initial video was really just a get started guide. It was the basics on how to import an M3U link and add an EPG and then get that into something like Plex, Jellyfin, or MB. Um, on that note, I got a couple of comments on that video that I kind of expected to get. Um, one of the questions is how to use Zap2XML with Zap2It. We're going to do that in this video here today and add that EPG data to our Stream Master. Um, we had a question about using schedules direct. So after I use zap to it, I'm going to set that up and you can probably skip ahead if that's all you want to see. And then the last question was, say you have two streams with multiple connections each for an identical channel. How can you add that to have multiple M3U links on one channel? All three of these are easy to do and I have it working myself. So we're going to jump right into it. And first and foremost, I'm going to be using zap to XML Docker container inside of Unraid. Um, you can import it using a tool, but I did see that there is a Zap2 XML now on the community app store. It's slightly different than this, but it should be close enough. There's a couple things you're gonna need to change once you make the Docker container. And the first is gonna be the data path, and that's gonna be where does zap to it or Zap2 XML store that data. And we wanna put that in our app data folder for Stream Master, but specifically playlists with a capital L and then slash EPG in all caps. And so it's gonna go into the EPG folder. Um, if you scroll down, you're gonna to need to add your uh, email and your password to log in to your zap to xml account or your zap to it account. If you don't have one, um, zap to it.com and you can see all of your listings. This is super helpful to see what's in your area and at what time. So at this time, I have Stream Master set up with my HD home run and I have my channels added to a stream group of all. I didn't really get too custom on this one, but none of them have an EPG. So I make sure that I'm logged into my account and then I'm gonna use those credentials to um, update my Docker container, which is just in the container paths below this. And then make sure that you have the correct link here to your app data for Stream Master. We'll click save on that. So then in our Docker container, we're gonna come over here and start Zap2XML. And I have it named two, just because I have two instances. This is just for this video. And you're gonna to wanna to click on the logs while it's starting, and it's gonna parse all of your episode entries. It's gonna be downloading each channel in your area, and then each time slot for that channel. And so there's just tons of them that'll be coming through, and we'll let that go, but remember, this data file here is going inside of our Stream Master Playlist EPG section. So the reason we're doing this with Stream Master stopped is that Stream Master needs to see it when it turns on. So don't have them running at the same time. We're gonna let this run and uh, hopefully it'll be done kind of soon, but it does take a while. Because... So if we check on zap to xml it finished and it took, took about five minutes. So is zap to xml loaded? And we can verify in our Stream Master directories that we have it inside of playlists with a capital L, EPG. We have this XML TV file. So we're gonna come over here and start Stream Master. Now with Stream Master loaded, I'm gonna refresh the page, but I might not see EPGs here. I Luckily I do, but if I don't, what I would do is control F5, which is like a refresh the cache on the page. That's something you might have to do pretty often in Stream Master. It seems to cache to the browser pretty heavily. And if you expected to see a channel, an M3U or an EPG that's not showing up, a control F5 is a good way to make sure that it's not just a browser issue. Thankfully it does. So I can scroll down with this down arrow where it says dummy. And a reminder, if you wanna set it as a dummy, you can click this gear and it will just repeat the name, but I want it to be the actual channel. So I'm gonna choose 11.1, 27 27.4, 27.6, 4.1, 5.1, 8.1, then 8.8. So at this time, if I were to go grab my EPG link to put into Jellyfin or into Plex or into MB, I would have these channels showing these um, guide data. For the sake of time, I'm not gonna do that because then I have to refresh it multiple times. Um, but that's how you add zap to xml to your Stream Master. And you might notice I didn't actually click the EPG button here. I never did that. All I did was add it to the folder, playlists, EPG, 
and it auto populates. Um, Stream Master is going to add this JSON, but the XML file is what we put there, and it automatically pops up right here. And so Zap to XML is going to run on a regularly scheduled um, cadence and update those files as necessary. It's going to spit it into here, and then Stream Master will update it as it gets it. And then your um, streamer, uh, Jellyfin, Plex, MB, will keep it up to date as well. So that was adding Zap to XML. So the next part I'm going to cover is doing duplicate channels. Here we have WFAA and WFAA HD. It's very common to get a standard definition and a high definition, or like this YouTube comment, if you want to have multiple channels that are identical from multiple providers, can you stick them together? And the answer is yes. So what you're gonna do is come over on the channel that you like, you're gonna hit the gear, and then here you have active streams. So this is what it's gonna reference, and I can have the 8.1, which is the one I clicked on, but I can also come through, find 8.8, .8, and add that to the active streams. So how this works, I believe, I didn't code this, um, I think it goes from top to bottom. So if your top one is not working or you're out of streams on that provider, it's gonna to go to the next one. So I would recommend that you put your HD ones on top and then you have your fallback standard definition. And if you have multiple channels, you can stack them up here and then just update your name to get rid of the channel number or whatever you want. And um, it should work. This WFAA right here, is gonna have two channels inside of it, but it's gonna still be just the one EPG item. Because it's the same channel, it's just gonna load it that one time, the one that we set here. It won't be able to show multiple if they're not out of sync, but you wouldn't really want that. You want the same channel stacked up. It goes to this 8.8, uh, .8, and for some reason, if it doesn't load or it takes too long or I'm out of streams, it's gonna drop down to um, 8.1 and you can switch them between multiple providers. I just happen to have one right now. While Zap to XML is running, I'm gonna go ahead and add the logos for the channels just because we have to wait on that to run anyway, and I might as well cover it. So I'm on the GitHub for Stream Master, and I'm on the old wiki, not the new one, but if you go to the GitHub wiki, you can find this under installation and then TV logos, and at the bottom, it, it'll tell you how to set this up. Um, for me, the, the folder was already there, Stream Master slash TV dash logos. And what we need to do is download the logos from this GitHub. So I'm gonna open this link and we're gonna remember that we have to add a folder called countries first, which we can see right here. So when I open my Stream Master um, directory and go to TV logos, I'm gonna add a folder in lowercase called countries and then just open that. We go here to GitHub and we're gonna just download the zip for all of the TV logos and download the zip. And once that's done, you can open the zip file and go to countries and find your country. Um, you could just drag this whole folder over, but it's pretty large and I don't need them for every country, just the US. So I'm gonna scroll down until I find United States. And then I'm gonna drag this over into my countries folder. And we can just verify that they're here and that's fine. To wrap up the bit about the logos, um, you need to know the channel, first of all. So these local cards are local to me in my area in Dallas. If you don't know what that channel is, you can load up your uh, viewer and just pull up the guide on Jellyfin and see, or you can go back to zap to it. ABC is the eight channel, WFAA. So I'll come back and I'll just type in ABC and we've got all kinds of logos. So you can have your local channel if you want. I actually don't know, do we have ABC8 on here? Yep, WFAA, let's do that. And then uh, this one was CBS. CBS 11 is one of these. These look like Houston though. Um, KDFI is channel 27, so I'll scroll down real quick. So I'll come back here and just type in Fox and I could find a local channel or I can just get a generic Fox if I see it. And I'll just grab a, a random Fox Sports one. This is Fox Weather. And that way um, our guide data is saved. It'll pop up when you reload your guide inside of Jellyfin, Plex, or MB. So the last thing I'm gonna cover is gonna be Schedules Direct. And it's an alternative to zap to it With zap to it um, you can find your provider here. You can probably find a satellite provider that has most of your channels. 
but we're not paying for this and this could be turned off like any moment. Um, I appreciate that they haven't, but I understand that we're kind of from their service with a web scraper. So the way around that is something called Schedules Direct. They have a website here where they pay to get these guides and then they resell it. Uh, I don't believe they make a profit. Yeah, they're a nonprofit organization. They're all about open source software. And you can buy a membership for two months for $9 or a year for $35, which is not cheap, but it's pretty reliable. Um, so they have a couple of approved apps, which Stream Master is not one. So we're taking a little bit of a gamble on that. But all you need to do is sign up for an account, agree to their subscriber agreements and pay them and you'll get login credentials. So you, you sign up here and uh, you can see it warns me my IP is already in use. Um, so I'll be logging into mine, but I'm gonna log in directly inside of Stream Master. And so I'm gonna type that in, I'm gonna blur that out. I'm gonna click enabled. And honestly, we can leave the rest of this alone. Um, I really didn't change any of these checkboxes. I didn't care. I don't think it matters. We'll click save. So once that's saved, we're gonna get a new tab here for SD. We go to schedules direct, and this is pulling in from my account because you subscribe at the account level. But what you would do is you would type in your postal code right here, search for it, and then you would find a provider. Um, I wanna call out that this lineup or this provider is not necessarily the exact one you're using. You wanna look for one that has the channels that you're looking at, but it's unlikely that you're gonna find something that has all of the channels of your provider exactly. Now it's possible you can if you are using a HD Home Run or something like that, but I don't think you're gonna be able to get YouTube TV or um, direct TV into stream master. It's just not really an option, but direct TV does have a lot of channels. And if that's the right time zone for you, you could quickly see that, Oh, we both have a uh, local Fox that I want to watch or my local weather channel that I want to watch. What you do is you come in here and you subscribe to the lineup and you have a limitation on how many you can be subscribed to and how many times per day you can change it. So be pretty sure you can click this little card for the lineup preview, but we'll go ahead and subscribe and it's gonna add it to my lineup here. And I do already have a couple of these selected. So I'm gonna just kind of ignore those and pretend that we're looking at one homogenous, one single lineup over here. Um, so what you do next, you need to individually add the channels from Schedules Direct that you're trying to watch in your streams. So you have these channels here. We have a couple of Foxes, a couple of CBSs, a couple of ABCs. So we're gonna be using these station IDs, the lineup and the name. Um, so this one is the ABC WFAA, and I'll click this checkbox to save it. But I'm gonna go ahead and just click a few of these that I know I have, and then I'll click save. We can see it finished a task. Oh, my head's covering it, but we can finish a task down here and it lets us know it's saved. And then now we go back to channels and we go to EPG, we have an SD, which is schedules direct. It's a little confusing that both of mine are white right now, but one's slightly grayer, one's slightly whiter. Um, but we can limit which one we're looking at by using this box. And so KT TV, I can just click it like that. And now that's selected and it's gonna pull it from schedules direct. Um, so I think the other one I got was WFAA, so I can grab those and then KDFW, I can grab that. So now I have a mix of EPGs, both from zap to it, um, zap to XML and from schedules direct, but it doesn't really matter as long as they're set here. So I was about to wrap this up, but I'll say you do need to add your channel numbers. And so I'm gonna do set all, and I'm doing this on purpose with an error to show you that under my head, we got an error that there's, uh, it failed. I can go check the logs and look at why that failed, but I can tell you right now, it's because we have duplicate channels. We have WFAA twice on here. Um, remember, this one is just one stream and this one is two streams, but because it's the 8.8 .8 starting for both, it sees it as two and it doesn't like that. So I'm just gonna delete this 8.8 .8 one because we have 8.8 .8 also inside of this one. 
And now if I select them and add the channel numbers, it works and I get a little green check mark behind my head. And we're good to go. This is it. We go to stream groups. We can get our links and put this in Plex, Jellyfin, or MB. Refresh your channel guide inside of those apps and you're good to go. If you need to know how to do that, watch my first video. For the sake of time, I'm going to skip it. But that's it. So in this video, we covered uh, Zap to XML, Schedules Direct, adding TV logos, and doing multiple streams per channel. Hopefully that's helpful. And uh, leave a comment if not. Thanks for watching.